<laughs> Correct answer. <laughs> yes. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Oh my god, is that my life? That's insane. It's like big highs and big lows, I guess. But that's how I like it. Yeah, exactly. Who are they? Oh, amazing. Right. Yes. Thank you so much for doing this, first of all. Yeah, it's I'm excited. Awesome, it's a premiere. So I'm Fleur, I'm 41 years old, so I'm from the Netherlands and I'm currently on a beautiful boat named Koru. We're anchored here in Mindelo, Cape Verde and we're about to cross the Atlantic Ocean. So I'm crewing, which is really exciting. Uh, yeah, so I, I owned a boat before, but we sold it like almost uh, half a year ago. So uh, I'm really happy to be sailing again. Uh, it wasn't really a dream of me to cross the Atlantic, um, but now that we're like almost doing it, I'm getting kind of excited. I'm really happy that I get to experience it. Um, and I don't even think sailing was always a dream I had. I always wanted to travel. So traveling was like a big thing. I always knew I was gonna leave my home country, explore the world, see more things. And so, and sailing yeah, is a really good way to do it. So, yeah. That is absolutely true. <laughs> yeah. Correct answer. Yes, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay. <laughs> I, grew, I was born in the 80s, 1980, um, in a lovely family. I grew up, had a nice childhood, went to school, did my best, went to university, did my best, went into this career path. I, I just was on the normal track, you could say, like the normal, normal life that, that a lot of people I think have and live and I liked it like um, I had a lot of friends I lived in uh, Rotterdam during my studies and uh, really enjoyed my life there I started my own company in 2011 I worked a lot for the government and I really felt that government uh, should innovate more should be more creative so um, so I got into that started my own company which was amazing did that for a, a lot of a lot of years and I, I would say I was like pretty ambitious and career driven and educated. So yeah, that was kind of my status quo, I guess. Like before all the traveling and before the rest of the life started. Yeah, yeah, I was super happy. Yeah, yeah. Well, family, I miss my family. I miss my friends there. But, um, but I also realized that, that I kind of was ready for something new. So it felt like, uh, I do miss, like I do miss that old life, but it's not a, a longing to it. Like I don't want to return to it. It's like I, I miss it with like a happy, happy heart or something like that. So, so yeah, I miss it, but not like in, in the weird sense of the words. Yeah, it was time to move on. Uh, I think, ooh, call for adventure, when did I get that? I think it was always a little bit there, in, but it was in the background. And then, I don't know, I just, the older I got and the longer I was living like my old life, I felt like time was running out. So I felt like every year would go by faster and I would get a bit anxious about it, like shit, life is happening and I'm not living it. And then um, uh, I read this article about a couple. They, they sold everything they owned and they, bo they bought a sailboat. It's Matt, Matt and Jessica sailing. They also make YouTube videos. And I, I remember reading that and that was like, um, I think maybe that was the call for adventure. I was like, oh, people actually do that. Like they, they, they just go, they sell everything they have and they, they go on this adventure. And, and, and it, 
it made it like possible like somebody else did that so that was when I started reading like sailing books and investigating and more into these YouTube channels with other young people doing this and that sparked sparked the adventure for me so yeah that was it that was the moment um, let me see people that helped me guide me through this life yeah I think there's a lot of I think the main thing is the people that are doing it because they I think that's always with if you want to make a change it so helps to see hey other people are doing it and so it is possible so for me everybody that is living a different lifestyle I'm, I'm on Instagram a lot and I get really inspired by people living in a van and just like living their life that way or like it doesn't even matter as long as I can see like they're living their dream lifestyle that's really inspiring for me and that's also why I share a little bit about my journey because I hope it helps others to get into that action mode so the feeling when we left well it was kind of interesting because it was a pretty long process because we didn't just sell everything we owned and I didn't just jump into this adventure um, me and my former boyfriend we took actually a lot of time to prepare for it so I think it would we I remember like there was this uh, this, ho this holiday in Italy and we draw we drew the whole plan on a piece of paper so from like the culty adventure we actually made a plan and we, we calculated it like what do we need to make it happen and it took us eight years to go from that plan that day at the La Lago Maggiore in Italy to signing the contract for a new boat and for us that was a lot had to do with if we wanted to travel we also wanted to have the time to enjoy it and not work remotely which is fine like a lot of people like that but we wanted to like be able to but not, ne not needing to do that so um, so yeah so it, it was a long process before we departed so I guess we got we were able to prepare really well and get used to the ID and um, we left in COVID times like we left in on the 1st of July 2020 we sailed the boat south and um, and that was also kind of a weird thing we didn't do a big goodbye party with friends because you weren't allowed to do that so it was actually like a soft exit we kind of like sneaked out of the country and uh, and just went for it which was, which was good like it wasn't like a big bang it was like a gradual process for us and uh, I really liked that about it as well Yeah, getting the keys to our new boat was super I thought it was like surreal like this we had a Lagoon 42 like a, a big boat and I remember we walked on the dock and there were like a few like they come out of the factories like like a bakery right like there's all these like boats in a line and then the third in a row was ours I think and um, I don't know it just felt unreal like that wasn't happening that wasn't really like my reality and I also remember like weird things like the key to the bow was was super tight like was was a tiny key and I was like this is the key like this tiny little it would look like a bike key or something so that was really funny I think like it felt more real when we put on the name like when we were able to like put the sticker of the name on the boat and I don't know just the first sail like all these first first dinner on the boat first like first time at anchor like I still remember those things so well and it uh, kind of yeah started to drip in but I had that feeling for I think a year that it was kind of not really my life I would go through my Instagram feed and see like photos I took and I would be like oh my god is that my life that's insane I wouldn't like I knew it was true but I couldn't really like believe that it was true it was yeah really a cool feeling yeah <laughs> Well, I think there's a lot of struggles if you go through such a big life change. 
so yeah there were there were many like um, obviously like leaving friends and family and, and going on this unknown adventure is, is scary as it is but um, I also I had my company in the Netherlands and I love I loved working for it so I had to say goodbye to that and it was I, I wanted to but it was also like difficult to do it like to let let that go and then uh, I think one and a half years into the sailing adventure because you get to know yourself much better when you do such a big change in your life you kind of start new and um, for me it was also a big quest to who am I and what do I think is important in life and that wasn't the same things that I found important when I was growing up anymore um, and it also meant that, that me and my boyfriend we actually broke up because of that because we both kind of went to a different process and we and we also saw like a different future after that and that wasn't aligned anymore so I think the biggest struggle was letting go of old stuff like your old company your old friends and, and they're not all gone but like everything changes and then like your relationship and and it sounds pretty intense, like when I tell it like this, but um, but it's it's worth it as well because I I I came closer to who I am, and that's like so so beautiful and important that it's like totally worth it. But it's yeah, it's a struggle. It's it's hard, and I cried a lot, and uh, but I, yeah, I smiled a lot as well, and yeah, it's like big highs and big lows, I guess. But that's how I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody goes through struggles, but I think the ones you you encounter, they probably say something about who you are as well. Like I am pretty loyal um, and I'm really bad at ending stuff. So like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I tend, I learned from this that it's like good to sometimes let go and like close the door. So something else like you open a new door and, and I never did that like I kept all my doors like open right and that's not an option like you have to choose and say no, say no to things as well and have the, the gut to do that I guess that, that was something I wasn't so good in and, and that's something I definitely learned yeah so I think everybody gets their own struggles presented to uh, to solve <laughs> Did I ever? Let me think about it first. Did I ever question my decision? No, I don't think I ever did actually. That's kind of weird though. But I don't think I did. Like, there were like hard moments and, and setbacks and... But I, I always felt like we're, I was going in the right direction in the long term, so... No, and uh, you know, I always, I also like challenge. So I don't, I don't mind a bit of a pushback or, like, I feel that it's something that helps me grow, and so I, I'm not too scared of uh, of that. No, I never, no, I never doubted the decision ever. No. What is my, yeah, what do I gain from this all, right? Well, you know. I th I'm still thinking about that a lot though because I kind of expected that I would miss work a lot because I like to work and I was that this ambitious like girl and I actually don't so it kind of puzzled me as well and I know a lot of people around me were like oh okay we didn't expect you to like this sailing lifestyle that much but um you know I think it's like you have to rebuild your whole value system kind of like I grew up in a time where you had to especially as a girl like the mantra was to be prepared and to be self-sufficient and and I, I am like I'm, I'm really I do that but there's more than only work or a job like there's more ways to add value to your own life and to the lives of others so I think maybe that's the biggest gain I get from that to to see that there's a different way of doing stuff and it's as valuable and probably even more valuable in the end so yeah 
yeah, my advice for anyone that's like thinking about this or doubting like your, their current lifestyle or thinking about making a change. Yeah, my, my advice is just go for it. And you only have one life. It's so short, like super short. And it's such a waste if you're like stuck in an office in a job you don't like. There's so much more to, to learn and to experience. So definitely just go for it. And I know that sounds like a bit of a, yeah, that's easy to say. But that's also why I, wrote, I write for, for the blog and, and I created this financial freedom toolkit because like the more practical people can like start with that. And I know money is often like a big obstacle and not even like a, pre like a real obstacle, but like a mindset thing. Like they think they won't have the money to do it. So yeah, I hope that, that I can help others also with that to not only show that you can do it but also to give them a little bit of the tools and and tips to to practically be able to make those changes so i hope i can bring that back that's like my 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 goal now is to help other people to do that as well yeah perfect perfect hero's journey ending Yay. Now you can do some uh, shameless self promotion oh nice so i have a blog it's called from penny to many from penny to many .com, and it's all about how to achieve financial freedom so it's actually my story how i set the steps from like growing up this plan financially to being early retired having a passive income and not having to go to work to be able to pay for everything i need and, and live this lifestyle so well if you're interested in that i also made a toolkit so that's more practical with templates and you go through your whole financial situation and are able to design your own journey towards financial freedom. So that's all available on the website. A lot of it is free and the toolkit is pay what you want. So yeah, just here to inspire. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. That Thank you. Awesome.